Hi, all the audiences and Cosme team as well. I am Salim Gedgebrubin, Innovation Counselor from National Innovation Agency Public Organization from Thailand. Since NAA and Cosme had MOU collaboration since the year 2019 to promote and support Thailand and Korean startup ecosystem between both countries. So thank you, Cosme, for let us be a part of this activity. Then, as we all know that doing business in another country is a challenge. It requires many angles to cover and also it requires a lot of elements to be accomplished to get things done. So in this one hour session today, we will gonna run through three topics. First, let me show you how NAA play a role in supporting the innovation and startup ecosystem. Secondly, this is a great opportunity that we have our base partner in Thailand, Thailand Board of Investment, to speaking out about BOI's element in supporting the foreign business to be setting up here and invest in Thailand. Third, some information about market analysis, market environment, suggestion to do the business in Thailand in some area which you are interested. So let's get started with the first part. Let me show you the slide. All right. As we NAA, National Innovation Agency Public Organization, we are doing a role of system integrator to reach the goal of shifting up the innovation ecosystem level by using the startup technology as a base to disrupt or change the existing industry pinpoint with their solution. So NAA, we got seven, oh sorry, we got four operational framework in the seven areas of projects and activity. Why we are doing all of this together with the innovation diplomacy in many countries. First for flow, the four in from operational framework, this is the expanding innovation investment on sexual development, accelerating corporate venture, area-based innovation for international launching and landing platform, and also ease of doing business. So in, let's see in our operational framework through this seven area projects activity. First, enhancing Oh, sorry, expanding innovation investment on sectoral development. This framework we do in the two scheme. First, we do by export out. We brought our startup company to the global international event to, with the objective to let them see how the global trend and other industry in the in the other countries doing in their ecosystem. For example, in this life, such as the, we bring the MarTech startup to the South by Southways at Austin, Texas, to see how uh, entertainment industry playing in the other country in the global trend. And the second, we brought the startup company as well to the Bio World Congress on Industrial Biotechnology with a startup who are focusing in the biotechnology coverage at Des Moines, Iowa. Well, then, because this is in the coronavirus situation, so it's not easy to get more startup to be explore the event and meeting the partner in face-to-face -face and finding opportunity more in face-to-face. -face. So 
we are doing the webinar together with the organization abroad. So Select USA Tech ASEAN 2021 is one of the events which we are attended to uh, speaking out about our innovation shifting role in Thailand. So this is the first way. Then the second way we brought in, we import uh, other foreign company who are interested to invest in Thailand. And this model, we are matching and be a system integrator, as I said, uh, to finding the foreign company outside to matching with Thai company who are interested to invest in the same objective and same goal. So in this part, the example here is the Sapporo Brewery and Inwata Chemical and Thai company at Kumpawaki. Oh, sorry, Thai, Thai company in the first model of bioethanol production from Casual Power Pilot Plant in Thailand. And this is the terms of Thailand and Japan bilateral collaboration. Second, with the Torei industry and Mitsui and Mitsui Sugar here, we do the pilot plan as well for demonstrating the production of energy saving cellulosic sugar production system from Bagas at Kumpawaki in Udon Thani province. Next, with the Denso, this to this occur for the aim of shifting the Thailand to 4.0. In this one, they are, have this mutual aim to supporting the human resource by supported and encouraged Thai industry in transformation to automation in terms of developing the Japanese lean automation skill in human resource in Thailand. Then the last one I show is the campaign and program that Israel doing with Thailand by enhancing startup opportunity with Thailand Israel Accelerator and Matching Program with Israel Innovation Authority, IIA and partners. So this is the first. Then second of the operational framework, we do accelerating corporate venture in VC, CVC, and startup funding agency in Thailand. As this, we got in two ways as well. Since NAA, we do the part of government grant, and also we connect to the startup to the VC because we are the we are the government grant in the pre seed round. So after we and also other organizations such as NSDA, Tech Fund, and Viva granting to the Thai startup and SME to help them make prototype and also accelerate and also help support them to go commercialization. Then the next step is for them to meet the startup for, for the startup to meet the VCs, CVCs in the next C or Series A, Series B or Series B plus in the real uh, world of the VC venture. So we have connected them to all of the funding agency which existing in Thailand. So because we are focusing in startup ecosystem, and this is the Startup Thailand universe, which show you that why at the, at the objective of Thailand that I mentioned in the first slide, that we are the system integrator to shifting the whole innovation level by using startup technology as a base to disrupt because we believe that to shift up the innovation whole level, we have to use the technology. So the startup company right away in our Thailand ecosystem and in the world ecosystem as well could be the base part to help the world and also the economy to accelerate and shift up the whole economy in each country. So in Thailand ecosystem, Thailand universe, we focus in 11 sector of technology right now, as you see, as FinTech, Lifestyle Tech, Health Tech, Travel Tech, More Tech, Business Service, EdTech, Golf Tech, Industry Tech, and also Deep Tech, Act Tech, and Food Tech, and also Property and Urban Tech as well. In all of these players in the startup field in each uh, technology, 
we are trying to shifting up them from yeah from the pre C to series in the high series that they can go. So in all of this help, we cannot do it alone. And the startup universe, we got a lot of uh, partner which is helping the the startup ecosystem here right now as well. Such a, a, for as you see in the inner circle, it is a government, media partners, university, global partner, association, corporate, VCs and CVC, bank, financial, and also the incubator and accelerator as well. So in this accelerating corporate venture part, we not only doing the government grant part and also uh, connect them to the VC, but we also do the program of incubator and accelerator program as well. In this first pilot project, we are doing in the food tech and also the agricultural tech by first pilot in Space F for food tech with the partner of Thai Union, Mahidun University, IBEV, Better Grow and Deloitte, and also Agrowth in the agricultural accelerator with the partner of Kubota, RISC, and also Nest as well with the SpaceF to provide the space for food startup based, to let them have the place to taste and trial transformation ideas into reality at the Mahidon University. And also a growth program that we, from these two programs, we got uh, 20 to 30 to 40 startups to be implement that concept, the real concept into the real field, just like to transformation the ideas into the reality. So in these two projects, uh, we trying to build it up more startup into the ecosystem. So let's come to the third, the third operational framework, because we believe that innovation and startup is important. So we are trying to do it in all of the area in Thailand. So every based innovation for international launching and learning platform is one of the key operational that we are doing now. So this is called the Bangkok Cyber Tech District, one of the area that we are focusing in with other partner. In this Bangkok Cyber Tech District is the partner up with the True Digital Park, CTO, MQBC, Futures, Tells, Banchak, The Mall, and YTech. These are the private sector which have the mutual aim that we want the Thailand ecosystem and also startup ecosystem to shift it up. In this project, we like to improve and make the Bangkok Cyber Tech District to be the one of the biggest startup hub in the Southeast Asia. But not only in it, this project is in Bangkok, but it, this is not the only project in Bangkok. There are many areas as well. By the way, I'll show you in the other province. And this is the another district in Chiang Mai. And this is called Suan Dok Medical Innovation District. In this SMID at Chiang Mai, we like to create this innovation district to focus us in the medical innovation. And as you see, we got a lot of partner in this area. We got government partner. Also, we got the private sector involved, and especially we got the university to participate into trial with the medical innovation district as well. So, this there come to the last operational framework in this field because we are believe that to accelerate and shifting up innovation and startup, we have to got more startup company in both Thailand and also shift them out to global. So we know that doing business, doing startup business is challenge. So uh, we create a team to support it, the startup who are interested uh, to do the business in Thailand here in two, in first two area and tentatively to implement in the third one as well. First, we are based in Bangkok. Second, we are based in Chiang Mai and the tentative area is EEC. So this global startup hub uh, 
each of the area we are trying to focus it to focus the sector. In BKK, we're trying to focus into the deep tech, tech digital tech, smart tech, smart electronic, artificial intelligence, and also mice. And the CNX, we are trying to focus in the agri tech and food tech, also health and med tech. For the EEC, because it is the Eastern Economic Corridor, so it is the land of manufacturing. So we're trying to uh, shift up the industrial tech, focus it in the artificial intelligence, immersed IoT, robotics, and automation. And yes, all we have to partner up with uh, many partners, not only same government sector, but also in the private sector and also the university sector as well. So as the service package of the Global Startup Hub, we are doing a lot of stuff. So we are basically in trying because we are believe that to uh, settle the business, you have to got the information and knowledge to do things done. Then we have to provide you the network of the people to let you accelerate yourself into uh, the business and also the industry. And yeah, so these are the schemes that we provided at networking and community and have the events that events and also the hub to join and connect it with the people in the startup Thailand ecosystem. Also, we got the incubator and accelerator, just for example, the space app and also the app growth that I mentioned before. And moreover, more on the incubator and accelerator might come after this. And also we do the support in the technology and innovation infrastructure, also in the space and the business. Also, the consultancy in depth for 101. If uh, the startup is wondering about the legal, the financial, or how to access the market, uh, we got the consultancy in depth when the, which the startup is interested and register to us. And then we got the financial support for a Thai uh, startup and SME in the area of economy, social, and also the youth. And we got a smart visa, which is the project which DOI is the main of the platform. And I will gonna run through this in the next. So this is the global startup hub service, which we are now focusing in. As this is the networking event, which we uh, proposed before, both in Bangkok and also in Chiang Mai, which is the Global Startup Hub BKK and the Global Startup Hub CNX. Yeah, and the consultancy in depth, we are focusing in the legal, the finance, and go to market. Also, we got the topic of the VC, the marketing, and also the pitch deck investor. Yeah, so come to the smart visa issue, which is the important with issue which the foreigner is always have uh, interested in. So what is the smart visa? Smart visa is a program that intends to attract experts in the executive, investor, and startup, and entrepreneur to work or invest in technology company. Because the government uh, have decision and decided that, that Thailand Board of Investment should attract not only the investment here in Thailand, but also attract more people with the talent here to uh, help develop what Thailand is lacking as well. So Smart Visa is the tools to let the foreigner with the capability in doing things to be here in Thailand more flexible. So uh, if the people who are want to submit this smart visa must be in this 13 industry, which is the biofuels and biochemical, digital economy, medical hub, automation and robotics, 
aviation and logistics, environmental management and renewable energy, alternative dispute resolution, agricultural and biotechnology, smart electronics, affluent medical wellness and tourism, next generative automotive, food for the future, and also human resource development in science and technology. So, sorry. Yeah. So, there are four types, there are four main types of the smart visa category, which is start with the smart T. T is for talent for the highly and skilled expert. Smart E is for the senior executive and smart I is for investor. Smart S is for a startup entrepreneur. And once this four main, these four main types uh, have been accepted or approved, uh, then the smart O, which is the spouse and children of smart visa holders, would have a chance to come together with the full main type as well. So why smart visa is different from uh, other visa? That got the six popular reason why people choose the smart visa in terms of fitful to backward qualification. Because first, the permission to work is you can work here without work permit. If you got a smart visa, no need to got a work permit. And the second is, if you got a smart visa, uh, that would be the exemption from the four to one employment ratio. Uh, in the general, in the origin, if you are the company, you've got to have the four Thai people to, uh, to hmm, be with one foreign uh, employee but if you are the smart visa this is the exemption of that ratio so the third if uh, the maximum of the visa could go through four years visa to be collected in thailand it depends uh, to the each type of category first it got six months one year two years or maximum is four years. So it depends on each type, but the maximum is four years. Then the fourth popular reason is because 90 day report, no need to do the 90 day reports, but it becomes just one year report. So reduce the time of the report to the BOI. And then the fifth reason is if you got a small visa, that will be the fast track service at the international report. Then they come to the last reason, which is no re-entry required. So let's see how uh, about the qualification which request for T, E, and I. For the T is for talent. Uh, all of this, let me, let me wrap up a little bit. For the T, E, and I, you have to got a contract. For T and E, you got to have the contract with the company. And the, the I is about the investment. So the, for the T, the income must be more than 100,000 baht or the income more than 50,000 baht if you are a startup company or a retired expert. And you've got to get more than one year contract and also be expertise in science and technology. For the smart T, another smart T is the expert in ADR or working for the government. Hmm. You got to work for the government or the domestic in ADR Institute without no minimum income, no minimum contract term, but you have to be guaranteed by the employer. Then the third one is uh, the smart E for the senior executive. The income per month should be more than 200,000 baht and have the contract more than one year. Also, uh, the 10 years, the evidence of 10 years of experience and bachelor degrees or above, which especially you got to be in tech-based company. 
then for the smart buy is the for the investor, you got to be direct investment for Kappa through VC with more than 20 million baht. Or if you invest in the startup, you could be invest in uh, more than 5 million baht. And you have to maintain all the investment and for sure you got to be doing it in the tech best company. Then that comes to the Smart Visa Type S, which is the most popular here right now. So, because uh, as I mentioned before, the Smart S is about the startup company who are focusing in the technology based, which trying to brought the technology to solve the pain point, solve the existing pain point, which might be in the industry or in the SMP structure. So the concept of the startup is trying to use the technology to solve it, solve the pain point with a new solution, which might be disrupt or change at a minor level, whether in the product, process, or service. So this Smart Visa Type S startup, we got three types of the period. It depends on the qualification that you get to us. So the track of the Smart Visa Type S, we got three tracks that we plan for you. First is the two, six months, and you could go for two years. Second, you could register first by the one year and then shift it to two years. And last, if you're already prepared and ready for two years, you could come to two years immediately. So the first six month visa requires the business plan and this business plan is the startup business plan, which focuses in the technology base. I have to prove that uh, your concept is using the technology in terms of uh, trying to solve the pain point and also uh, got a new solution, which quite innovation in the market. So it's a business plan and also health insurance. Uh, the health insurance is the must have qualification that all of this uh, visa, no, no matter with six months, one year and two years have to provide. So that's for the six month visa. Then for the one year, uh, you have to participate in incubation and accelerator program uh, in terms of uh, connected in those participation in the program in the incubation that's certified. So if you got the evidence from the program which uh, Smart Visa certified, then you could bring that evidence with a saving more than 600,000 and also health insurance. So you can submit for the one year visa. <clears throat> Next is the two year visa. In this kind of the startup type, you have to got the evidence of the company registration, which is the both company registration and also the shareholder list with the condition of you got to be a chair more than 25% or be a director of the company with the saving of more than 600,000. And also you got to have the health insurance. So, this is the application process for the Smart Visa. You could submit for the application online via the smartvisa.ui.go.th. And then the BOI team, as they are the best partner of us, will run through the phase one with read the information via your account, activate and log into account, submit an application. Then the second phase will go for the endorsement and verification with the relevant agency, which NAA is one of their agency as well to make the qualification endorsement. And also we are gonna receive the result and receive the endorsement letter. And then this is the internal, the internal process. And then afterward, the visa will be issued at the visa at OSOS or the Thai embassy or consulate. So this phase three will got the uh, Visa stem at the Chantry Spring. So uh, that is all about uh, NIA and part that we are trying to engage and achieve our goal to 
shift up the whole innovation ecosystem and also using the startup technology as a base. So if you are wondering in any issue, you could contact us by the Global Startup Hub Thailand Facebook and also the email as you see here, also the website. If you have or need to know more information, uh, in terms or in the scope that NAA is covering, you could uh, contact us here. Actually, we got more than uh, only the Global Startup Hub channel. We got a website of www.naa.org.th and also the fan page of NAA as well. The Facebook fan page of NAA is National Innovation Agency. You could follow and tracking the information or all the news. And yes, if you have any information needed, you could come to contact us. If it is in our coverage, we will find the best to provide your information. But if it is more than our scope, we will try to connect you to other organization as we are the system integrator to connect the whole ecosystem we're trying to. So this is the, all about uh, NIA. Then, Thank you for your intention. So next, that will be the second session that I mentioned that we have a very great opportunity from BOI as Kun Supanari Hall, uh, one of our base partner. Uh, we're gonna share with you about the BOI element for supporting to the foreign startup to be here to set up and do the investment in Thailand. So Kun Supanari will give you the information for those elements. Yeah, thank you Kun Supanari.